Hello, once again, it is me, Chris Jenkins with Charlotte Vibe. Giving you guys another video update on the latest Carolina Panthers move. They have acquired two people and they've set their 10 man roster. Let's see, the, let's start first with the claims that they have made. Anytime they claim anyone, they're, they're going to have to put them on a 53 man roster, remove some guys off. So, Carolina Panthers have added Brad Kayla off of waivers from Detroit Lions and uh, safety Demetrius Cox off waivers from the Cincinnati Bengals. They did that today. In order to make room for uh, Kea and Fox, Carolina Panthers have released, man, it's NFL, not for long business, right? Have released Alex Arma and cornerback Corn Elder have been placed on injured reserve. And all these guys that are injured reserve must be available for waivers come tomorrow. Just small FYI as I continue to get a little bit better understanding of what's happening with all these guys that are on IR. They have to clear uh, waivers tomorrow and um, we'll see if they come back. So let's go down the 10 guys that the Carolina Panthers have signed to the practice squad. They are all guys in which were formerly on the, uh, on the roster, on the 90 man roster. So it's Blaine Clausel, tackle, Brian Cox, defensive end, Eric Crum, defensive tackle, Mose Fraser, wide receiver, Kiaris Garrett, wide receiver, Garrett Gilbert, quarterback, Zach Moore, defensive end. I can't say the guy's name. He's our international player. Ife Obada, and uh, defensive end. Damian Parms, safety, and Desmond Southward, safety, uh, is on the practice squad. And there's some exceptions there to allow some of these guys to get on the practice squad, but I won't get into that because that might get a little boring. But what I will answer is the first thing I thought about, sometimes I'll be honest, my son is the guy that gives me breaking news. Let me know about the Carolina Panthers acquiring another quarterback. And of course, people are still getting over what happened with Joe Webb. After speaking with Marty Herney, you get a little bit better understanding that they looked at everybody and said, hmm, we have Cam Newton. He's definitely our starting quarterback. We have Derek Anderson. He's, uh, he's had 13 years of experience. He's a pretty good fit for a backup quarterback. And who was in development? You know, Joe Webb was not a young guy. I forget the number of years he's been in the league. I want to say six or seven. And uh, Herney feels like there's a need to have a development quarterback on the roster. So therefore, the new pickup, uh, Kaya, is going to be that development quarterback. So that's really sounds like why Joe didn't make the cut is that, man, we got we to gotta have somebody in development. Herney feels like having that next quarterback in development is important. So he's there. We still have two kickers on the roster, right? And Marty Herney today said that if, you know, game day was today, Graham Gano would be his starting kicker. Doesn't know how long he's going to have two guys on the roster. Could be a short period, could be a long period. So he said that's something that's pretty fluid. Which sounds like they're trying to still see, they feel like there's some value in both of those guys and don't feel like they should just let either one of them go and they feel like they had a flexibility with the roster right now to do so. So we'll just keep you updated on that. And as always, if you're still watching, please hit that subscribe button. Turn your phone the other way so you can hit the subscribe button. Hit it on the desktop. Appreciate it. Leave your comments below. Also, you can hit me up on Twitter at Charlotte Vibe. And thank you guys for watching. It's Chris Jenkins.